Hey, let's go. Real 92.3 LA's new home for hip hop. It's the real racism and racial Real. injustice in all of our communities. Let's go. Victoria Lamara is on the cruise show. Let's Yay. get it. Woo. Hola, Victoria. ¿Cómo están? We're good. We're we good. are good. We're uh, we're back in studio. We uh, we are dealing with people again, human Finally. beings. That's uh, that's always a good thing. Yes. Uh, we made it out of uh, out of the pandemic, guys. We survived. Thank God. We survived. Yeah, right? we did. Or at least yeah. so far, it's still kind of I going a little bit. Going, yeah. Are you vaccinated yet? Not yet. Okay, but... yet though. So you will be yeah, vaccinated. Yeah, for soon. sure. For sure. Why do you think Latinos have a tough time wrapping their head around getting vaccinated? You know, I think it's a lot about people feeling like, oh my God, this was too soon. You know, mm-hmm. like am I gonna be okay like for me honestly seeing that everyone in my family got it Mm -hmm. uh, Mm. when my grandparents were the first ones to get it like the first batch because you know they're in their 80s i was really nervous but once i saw that them with their conditions and everything Mm -hmm. they were good i was like okay yeah we're good yeah Mm -hmm. yeah right a lot of latinos are waiting for their parents to get it and you know they're waiting to see let me uh, see if my mom's good right (laughs) I mean, listen, I, if you if you change the vaccine name to VIX, I think we're going to get it done. Yeah, that's Very right. Change the vaccine name to or VIX. Just, just, you know, put it in VIX. Put it in VIX. Yeah, Tommy, you know, that's you're good right. to go, man. Yeah. Seriously, so family straight, everything is good. You're Everything's doing well. Good. Thank you God, know, Les yes. was telling me during the pandemic that you were just, you know, you were working really hard and you, you got to it. You know, a you lot of people you know, fell you didn't back. Stop. A lot of people fell back. Mm-hmm. For me, I was thinking, if I don't do something right now, I'm going to mm-hmm. just go get be depressed, think yes. what is going on with my life. So I was just trying to be creative stay on my social media mm-hmm. trying to be active actually a lot of, or some of the songs that ended up on my ep mm-hmm. that just came out came out of like quarantine so i just really try to use the time and be like look i've been on tour for three years mm-hmm. non-stop working tired all the time so let me just relax and use this time to really get back on my creative my creativity mm-hmm. and and you know i think that a lot of us that use the time instead of saying, oh, my God, oh, my God, what's going on? Try to be like, OK, you know what? This is maybe a way for me to slow down mm-hmm. and start focusing on other things that I haven't had time. You um, read I into think it. that yeah. we are we're thriving now. Yeah, yeah. sure. Listen, uh, a lot of people uh, fell back, got depressed and a lot of people got to work. You know, yeah. the pandemic. I was even quarantine. doing my makeup in my house. I was like, girl, uh-huh. I can't be looking at myself, looking crazy <laughs> every day. What? Girl, do those Same. eyelashes, right? Uh-huh. What, just to hang in the house? Yeah, I yeah. get on my Instagram lives like, hey, what up, everyone? Yeah. You know? Right, 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 right. Yeah. I haven't worn jeans since the beginning <laughs> of the pandemic. I'm still in sweats. You know oh, what I'm saying? No. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. lost all effort. You know what I mean? It's just like put on sweats and let's get to work. You know? Yeah, sweats are the best, man. Yeah, they are. <laughs> they are. Oh, I was on a sweat wave early, early. <laughs> very early, yeah. very early. Because we were giving up very early. At the yeah, yeah. We were but, giving uh, up. But we're back. But we're, we're back. back. How do you feel about a way a man dresses? Should he be on point? Or is it okay to be sloppy as long as he's got a good personality and he treats you right? You know what? I think a little bit of both. I think even with girls, I think mm-hmm. you got to switch it up. You know, it's okay to one day be a fodonga and mm-hmm. be just feeling like, hey, this is me, no makeup on, my sweats, a big t-shirt. And it's okay to one day feel like, okay, you know, when I want to dress up, mm-hmm. you know, put my weave on, my nails, yep. do my makeup. I think the balance is what's best in life for anything. Yeah, I balance agree. is key. But, man, you know how hard it is to find balance? So hard. It's really tough, it right? Is. I mean, yeah. I think we're all in search of balance. Yes, we are. It's tough, man. What's up, Les? Yo, okay, so Cruz... Cruise Wait, is, what? Uh, what did I do? Since we're since we're since we're, oh, we're digging we're schedule? digging we're digging deep into you know being personal. Yeah, Cruz is having a hard time right now with his boo. He's like not able. They're not able to. I want my wife to get back. it on. You my know two what I'm sons. Tra, 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 like how, how it's not happening. Pasado? I know okay. you're you're in a relationship, right? I just got married. married. Oh, you got married. Yeah, Yo, you got to catch up, Les. I, I, I saw the engagement. I'm follow her from Instagram. <laughs> I saw the Block engagement, her. but I didn't see. I didn't see the actual well, marriage. My bad. Congratulations. No, it's all good. It's all good. I, I just been married for a couple of months. So. Okay. And we were actually supposed to get married on December 31st. Of mm. course, the pandemic. Yep. Right. We're in it all. And then in February or in January, we just said, you know what? Let's just do it. And we literally put the wedding together in like 10 days just That's with family. Crazy. Like there our go. siblings and our parents and my, my abuelitos. And it was amazing. It was honestly at some point we said, oh, let's do like a big wedding after and it was just so perfect that we just thought, nah. Oh, that's yeah, awesome. We'll do, we'll do like a big baptism or mm-hmm. baby uh, shower yeah, or something yeah, yeah. later on. Yeah, Gender we're reveal. Latinos. You know, yeah. we'll be fine. We'll do we'll it later do it. on. We'll find an excuse we'll, for a big party. Trust we'll get to it, though. You know I, what I'm so saying? So you're happy with the small, quick wedding? I loved it. Oh, I think that's it was awesome. so perfect. Mm-hmm. I think I was focused more on, on us and mm-hmm. everything that was happening instead of just being so worried about mm-hmm. everybody having fun. But when you were a little girl, did you want a big wedding? I did. I did. But I think that now... 
I realized, especially after the pandemic, that the important things are more like your connection mm -hmm. with the person, you know, your your commitment. <laughs> and I think that us doing it small, it just it was just so much more intimate and mm -hmm. about us so, than yeah. a big party. I love that. Don't get me wrong. I love the parties. Right. I love doing it big and having everyone have fun, but it was just perfect how it was. Yeah, extravagance is always a key, right? I mean, when it comes to wedding and you oh, just got to go all out, right? You're celebrating We got to make sure we yeah. got alcohol. tequila on deck, hey, some need, good music. Yeah. We need more tequila <laughs> bottles than yeah. kids. You know what I'm saying? In there, for real. Les, I have a question for you. Do you want... And before but, we get back to it, do you want a small wedding, big wedding, or destination wedding? You know what? I, I'm with Victoria. I, I wouldn't mind a small wedding. Yeah, I see you a already small, with Dallas. Wait a minute. Oh, okay, you know what? Because no. I, 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 I DJ, I've DJed a lot of weddings, and they yeah. just seem so stressful. It is. Like me, I don't even really know the people sometimes. Oh, you're go but God. the amount of stress that, they, that they're in, I'm just like, yeah, I don't you know, want I agree. that. This is why I've been engaged for 11 years. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so maybe that's part of the problem. Because weddings, he's scared of weddings. No, like that. I, maybe that's what part of the problem. What's, what's Your the problem? boo is kind of like, okay, like, yeah, I see my ring, but what the hell's going yeah. on? Oh. We're not moving on to the next stage, mm. so I'm not giving you what you want right now. The kitty. Yeah. Damn. Well, but after two kids, I mean, is it really, you know, is you know, it really I feel like as women, worth it to save I, it or hold of, it back? I've heard a lot of men say that, and I feel like as women, we do, we do appreciate... And correct me if mm -hmm. I'm wrong, but at least for the women I know and for myself, we do like my my husband now used to tell me all the time. But to me, I feel like we're married. I'm like, but we're not. Mm -hmm. I have not signed that paper. Damn. And I call her my <laughs> wife too. I call her my wife yeah. on the air. Well, in the us, yeah. But we've been living together for a long not. time, man. We common law, man. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I get it. But but I feel like for women, you saying, okay, here it is. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of like, okay, he's really committing his life to me, and now it's really here in front yep. of me. Yeah. You, know? you know what I feel guilty about is that she's made life very easy for me. I don't think I've returned that. I yeah, think I've made things a little that. tougher, you know, for her, um, because my life revolves around the entire family, um, and I understand that could be a little selfish. But sometimes you do have to be selfish. You you get a little selfish when you know. I'm sure when you were getting your EP done, everyone else has to be kind of secondary, right? Yes, or I everything think, else. Has I to think be it's important for people like us uh, that are so focused on you know our work to have someone that knows you so well and appreciates you that kind of lets you be. But I think it's important for us to also, like you said, reciprocate and be like, mm -hmm. look, I'm busy, but let me give you at least one weekend of mm -hmm. just me and you to show you that you're also my priority and that I'm just right. busy trying to make this for our family, you know, mm -hmm, better. Mm -hmm. well, I, I, I want to thank you uh, for teaching me how to be a man. I, <laughs> I, I really appreciate that. Right? You thank know you for it. raising me. I really appreciate that. He's not that. a man child how, anymore. How do I not know these things? I, you know, I'm just a dumb man, I guess. I don't know. No, you're not. You're just, you know, focused. No, yeah, he is. <laughs> say he is. He likes, he likes I'm, just, say he's I'm a dumb really man. focused. No, it's no, I'm just, just kidding. But I'm just know, crazy focused. I just, but life, life gets in, in, in the way of many things. And sometimes yeah. we yeah. just have to regroup and mm -hmm. be like, okay, I need to make this a priority and make it happen. Yeah, 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 yeah. How much of your love life is in the EP? Do you, you bear it what? all? Are you, are you, you know, did you give I it all? I think this this EP is called Soy Mala. So this is more about like the history of my yeah, love yeah, life. Yeah, okay. mm -hmm. All of those things. I was are wondering because really... I'm like, yo, was that recent or was that no, back in that the was, day? No, that was, yeah, that was more like, you know, the history before this relationship. I, I was not lucky. I don't yeah. know why I picked these guys that were mm -hmm. just horrible. Until you know, one beautiful day. women like usually boys, pick, yeah. you know, a fuck boy or two. I don't know why. Why? Yeah. Why do we do that? I'm, I'm the same way, girl. Because y'all look first before you think. You know, to be honest with you, <laughs> I, for me, I realized in the last relationship before this one that I had issues. And I, mm -hmm. I understood myself like, okay, you know... I have like abandonment issues, like some kind of daddy issues. Mm -hmm. there it is. And this is why I'm looking for validation in a mm -hmm. man that's treating me like shit, basically. Why am I allowing this? No more. Was and that that's therapy? When, no, I did that on my own. I just was kind of like... You just wake up one day, yeah. right? Yeah, one day mm -hmm. I literally you. was like, why, girl? Like, so, you know when you mm -hmm. talk to yourself and mm -hmm. it's like two people kind of like... I was like, why, girl? Why do you allow people to, like guys to treat you like this right, like you will right. never do that and the kind mm -hmm. of shit that they're doing to you you don't deserve it why and i really was like yeah why mm -hmm. and i just thought about it for some time and I, one day i just woke up i was like oh shit this is why and i can't you know as an adult i think that we have responsibilities we all have traumas we've all been through some things we're latino we for sure have traumas right yeah. <laughs> so i think it's our responsibility to kind of say you know what that happened to me but I want to grow. Mm -hmm. I want to be a be a bigger and a better person, and just kind of 
you know, see it, try to be okay with it and move forward knowing, you know, that's the past and I'm not going to allow that to continue mm -hmm. guiding who I am. I appreciate that because, you know, there's other women, other girls listening that may be in a situation that they don't know how to wake up from or, it's hard. or leave, you know, yeah. it sucks, hard. it's tough. You know, sometimes they're stuck in a position where it feels as if this is my life and this, I guess this is forever and you kind of settle into it. Mm -hmm. I want to tell those girls and the women, girl, trust me, at some point I felt that way. At some point, even when I finished that last relationship, that was the one that made me really wake up. I was crying like, why? Why are we not together? And you know what? I look back now and I'm like, oh, my God, I wish I knew what I know now because thanks to me realizing all these things, I found true love. And I realized that, you know, sometimes as Latinos also, mm -hmm. we grow up, like me, I grew up in Mexico watching novelas. Mm -hmm. And in the novelas, it was always like <laughs> so suffering and yeah. love was so hard right, and right, so right. toxic. <laughs> but that was real love. And yeah. I feel like for me at least, I found out that real love is easy and it's amazing and it's supportive so true, so and true. it's not toxic. Right. So I think that we need to let go of that and yeah. realize that real love is just your best friend <laughs> loving you and supporting mm. you and letting you be and also making you a better person. Yo, that is so true. <laughs> and listen, I'm yeah. novellas are so listen. toxic, bro. They are so toxic. You just and gave me right. hope right now. We grow up watching that and yes. thinking that's love, you know? Yes. And it really isn't. It really no, isn't. No, stop no. it. Yeah. What's up, Lecce? I'm still sticking to my toxicas this summer, though. I'm just... just it's a toxica just summer. summer. Just this okay. summer. And then we get <laughs> young, saying, then we go and find what love. To find but did you ever have a little toxica in you? I guess so, because that's why I stayed in those relationships, right? Yeah. If I would have been not toxic, I would have been like, bye. <laughs> Early, right? Yes. What's up, Leche? No, I, I wanted to praise uh, Victoria's nails real quick. Guaco, I don't know if you can zoom in, but Les, listen. <laughs> Are those dollar bills? <laughs> Talk to the to y'all say rake the nails. Oh, no, 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 it's the um the bandana. What is it yes, called? Bandana. Okay, uh huh, that's oh, fire. No. Oh, I and thought you said dollar bills. Rake the nails, bills. Les. Ooh, From yeah. one to a ten. Oh, 10. How much sure. those nails go for? They, they look like they cost you know like what? money. To be money, honest prima. with you, these were done by a friend of mine, so mm -hmm. she didn't even charge me. Oh, wow. Ooh. So, Gabby That's Nails. Talent. Oh, Gabby Nails, I've heard yeah. of her. Yeah, she's, yeah. she's dope. <laughs> Yo, it's crazy. Like, you know, you spend all your life paying for stuff and saving for stuff. And then, you know, you get to a certain level like you are. And it's crazy. You're like, the richer people get or the more popping they get, the more stuff they get for free and the less money they have to uh -huh. spend. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I do. yeah, I do get some free things yeah. and I enjoy. I mean, so do we, so do we. But I'm know? gonna be real. Like, there's, there's been people that tell me, like, for example, okay, let me do your nails today, right? And then they never want to charge me, and I'm like, no, girl. Yeah. This is your work, and this, this your is your art. time. Yes. Time yes. Let yes. me let me give you a little something, mm -hmm. and then I'll also, you know, promote you so that you can help more business mm -hmm. or whatever. But it's important to nice. show people that you appreciate. Their yeah. work on their time. Facts. See, that's why you're married, man. That's, dope. that's why you're married. You're that's a good, dope. you know. Not I'm not saying, you know, to, to women. I'm just saying, like, you know, someone someone found you and mm -hmm. I'm sure they're extremely happy and I'm sure that they thank mm -hmm. God. He makes every me day. happy too. He's a great guy. That's, that's right. right. That's right. Make, continue making him work for it. Of course. <laughs> got to. So back to it, right? So uh, I have to, yeah, I have to schedule. My wife thinks we should schedule. Uh, intimate time now and I just think that's so cold I think that's there's no romance there if you schedule it I think that maybe you should schedule like little getaways like mm -hmm. maybe you'd be like okay you know what this weekend getaways. I was like yo what <laughs> y'all listen <laughs> listen you plant a 40 like yo let's that get too. it you know <laughs> who with the switch it up switch yeah. it up <laughs> I told them they need to role play that's my I that, don't that's know that's her her opinion yeah, or her suggestion that we should yeah, role play yeah I think that, that too but, I feel kind of silly though. I don't but know I, why. I like your idea getaways imagine like you know one day Teacher, like, I'm here for my three o'clock class. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry I'm late. You know, I don't no, know. No, but I think it would be cool to maybe one day you surprise her, like, hey, baby, like, the kids are going to be taken care of by mm -hmm. somebody this yeah. weekend. We're going to, you don't even have to go somewhere far away. You can yeah. have a little staycation and a Take hotel. Take her to North Hollywood. Kind of Barbara. Barbara. North Hollywood with it. <laughs> Drive around North Hollywood high. You know what I mean? Visit the old spots. <laughs> yes. yes, sir. Why not? <laughs> no party uh, action, you know what I'm saying? Don't forget your roots, finally. <laughs> hey, so once you get vaccinated, are you take are you taking off the mask? Are you leaving it on? What are we doing? I'm gonna see how it goes. Yeah. For now, yeah. the mask on, you know, mm -hmm. I wanna be safe and see how it goes. Are your wedding pictures everyone has masks on? No, because we were all COVID tested and most oh, people nice. already had their vaccines and it was only like I said. Um my mom had to get the test before because she was coming from Mexico with, with her husband and then my in-laws had already had the vaccine and um, 
mostly everyone had had the vaccine and whoever didn't got tested. It was only like 12 people, so. Mm. Oh, it's not oh bad. yeah, so yeah, yeah. small, intimate, safe, really clean. And, and literally just family, because he's Filipino and I'm mm. Mexican, so you know, we got Woo! big families. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. Whoa. Yeah. So, yeah. I, that must have sucked for some family members that were How was it? The tios and the tias, you know what? I think that everyone understood um, that because it was a pandemic, they had mm -hmm. been invited to the actual wedding that was supposed to happen on New Year's Eve. Mm -hmm. So um, I think that no one felt bad because they were like, okay, they, they want to get married that, yeah. and they're just going to be the siblings and the parents and the abuelitos. So, true, so very I true. If I think if we would have picked and cho chosen, then yeah. Mm -hmm, but no, mm -hmm. we made sure that it's like, okay, mm -hmm. it's either everyone or no one. So it was mm -hmm. just. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Who said you're not invited to my wedding if you're not there for my marriage? Ah, uh, Chance the Rapper. Chance the Rapper. That is so true. Yeah. You know, because you, you, you start inviting people and then, you know, they're there for the open. They're just there mm -hmm. for the 42 and the yeah. class the house. And, and some people the are the there yeah. just to even cr criticar, to be like, oh. I didn't do this right. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't like what they, their food was not Listen, good. if you're this not paying for it. This is why my dad doesn't get invited to weddings, because that's him. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. wow. If you're not putting for an hour de banda, I don't want you on my wedding. Dude. <laughs> you're if not, you're not paying for the extra padrino, hour, padrino, or banda, the DJ, at least. Or yeah. the DJ sonido, come on, dog. <laughs> sonido. Yeah, you, you, you're, not, you're not supposed to be there. Yo, how do you feel about Latinos that don't speak Spanish? You know, I have some cousins here that were born and raised here that don't speak Spanish. I was raised in Mexico and I was actually, you know, spending all my summers and Christmas breaks out here because my mom was the one that went back to Mexico. I feel like I can't really judge them because in a way it's kind of like they were raised like that. Personally, I want my kids to speak Spanish when mm -hmm. I have kids. You know, mm -hmm. I think it's important. I feel like Extremely. especially nowadays being bilingual is such a such an asset, you know? Yep. Yeah, and yeah. But but I can't judge them because yeah. I don't know I don't know how, what what was the reason why exactly. they didn't speak Spanish. You know what I find funny? My parents didn't necessarily push Spanish on us. They were so happy to be in the states. They were very proud, American, American, American. But don't forget your brown. Don't forget your Mexican. But they never really kept up on Spanish. But now my Spanish is weak. But it's my fault. Because you didn't want to practice it. It's not my fault. No, they should have. They should have taught yeah. me. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, I get you. I get you. <laughs> but you can still take classes. Yeah. Well, yeah. now, yeah, you know? uh, obviously. Yeah, yeah but I think where where we need to take it is where it's like, yo, it's your year of Latino descent, Latinx, Latino, Latina, but all I speak is English, and it's fine. Like you know, I used I used to judge. Uh, you know. Mm -hmm. Mainly when it was like I felt like people were exploiting the flag or cultures. I remember that. I remember that. And, and not and not really speaking Spanish, but just like knowing a phrase or two and 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 making and money off Mexican, of it. Yeah. yeah, that was an issue that I used to have. At this point, it's like whatever to each his own. Pero it's to the point where I think now it's just like yeah, it's it's okay to be a yo no sabo kid and embrace it and, <laughs> I have and some be you. Those are no, some no, of my it's cousins. cool. Yeah, like yeah. yo, don't even no trip. Yeah. And, and and I just feel like yeah, it just needs to be. That's what it needs to be. We're brown kids that just speak English, and that's cool. No importa. Yeah. It's fine. And, you know, yeah. back in the day, like, for my tias, they actually tell me, yo, when we were growing up, it wasn't cool to speak Spanish. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You wanted to not be Mexican. You wanted to be as far away as, like, oh, no, you know, I'm from the States. I don't, I don't want to. But, like, my abuelitos, they don't speak English. Mm. So some mm. of my cousins that were raised by my abuelitos, yeah, they do speak Spanish. Yeah. But mm -hmm. the ones that were raised by their parents, they, they don't. For sure. Now, my dad has been in the States well over 40 years, doesn't speak English. Oh, wow. He's been like here. my grandparents, too. <laughs> and yeah. he just speaks Spanish. He understands English, but he refers to Spanish. Yeah. Are you, you know going to um, teach the boys Spanish? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. But I'm not going to do it. I got to send them <laughs> off to school. Yeah. <laughs> what am I going to teach him? Pinchy uh, way? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no mames. <laughs> no mames. <laughs> Season 1 through 20 of Dorothy Explorer uh -huh. Padre. <laughs> Professional. Andy Manny, easy, right? Yeah, fácil. <laughs> But now that's that's also a good tool now through YouTube. Yeah, of course. They YouTube. can start teaching them. Like YouTube. I was YouTube. with my girl that does my hair. Uh, she was doing my hair yesterday, mm. and her babies are two and four, and they were watching this thing called Coco Melon, but in Spanish. Mm -hmm. oh. Coco Melon, yeah. Because she was like, I want to make sure they speak Spanish. That's so. amazing. That's awesome. Now, now, listen. When there's one thing being brown and not speaking Spanish, but then there's Kendall Jenner with the tequila oh my God. and the, uh, you know, the Mexican <laughs> photo shoots. And, mm -hmm. you know, that's kind of weird. I mean, yeah. it, it is, but it, it's a fine line. Leave her alone or, yo, what are you doing? Well, I'm not going to lie. I do feel a little bit like, yo, girl, like, come on. Because, same, same, because same. I feel like if you are if you are helping the community or if you're saying, hey, look, I'm going to do this and take these pictures in Tequila, Mexico, and I'm going to take the culture, but I'm helping 
people and the community right. and the culture in some kind of way. Okay. But when you're just using it all for your benefit and you're not even mm -hmm. recognizing that, that's where I right. feel like it's wrong. Man, and I hear that happens a lot, you know? No diss. Listen, I just like... Like Coco, you know, the um, the abuelita was never taken care of. So that's an actual person, that character. Yeah, I heard that that was partly based also on Pedro Infante's um, life or something really? like that's that. Really? That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, I heard that. I'm not sure if it's like um, 100% accurate. Yeah, no, but, but yeah, I mean, yeah. But yeah, that's messed that. up. I mean, come on. Somebody needs to get some money Alex, for that abuelita. That right, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Alex. I mean, she's been on this earth for so long. Take yeah. care of her. You know what I'm yes. saying? Yes. Absolutely. What's up, Let's No, you? going back to the... See to, your wheels turning over there. Yeah. No, I, back, going <laughs> back to the party, though, right? Yeah, I went the to the EP party, but released. going back to the 818 Tequila thing, like, me personally, I, I'm not offended. I'm, I'm just like, okay, it is what it is. Porque, for example, I aspire to one day have a, a fragrance cologne company, right? My own cologne. Am I appropriating... Germany because colognes come no, from. Bro, I'm just bro, saying, bro, like no. that's why I'm not really. Yeah. I, I won't take right. like you know a certain stance on it because again, I aspire to have something that comes from a different culture at one point. Right, right. But you but, will give back. But you I, feel me? Like yeah, Germany's cool. Let me say man. something. There's other people that have had tequilas and people haven't said anything because they're not out there dressing up with a sombrero. Mm -hmm. And we're not a costume, yeah. and a horse. It's mm -hmm. just kind of like, okay, you know what? You want to have tequila? We all love tequila. Right. Tequila, yes. I would say, is a, a it's our global, orange juice. Um, yeah. Facts. Really Gift to the world. You it know is. what I mean? From Mexico, we all love it. Mm -hmm. But but when you take it to that extreme, and you're yeah. literally kind of like, hey, you know, this is Mexican. This is me, and you're not Mexican. It's kind mm -hmm. of like, okay, if, if you're not weird. doing something no, for the Mexican yeah, culture, then... Right. Yeah, yeah, build no. a school. You know what I'm saying? Why are you out there? You I know what I mean? Donate, build a school. Period, donate, yeah. take care of a neighborhood, take care of a of a community as well. I mean, that shows that, you know, you're there to work, and you're and also you respect the respecting the culture. Right. Right. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. By the way, tequila, I had two kids off tequila. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's, that's my favorite, tequila. Ooh, <laughs> what's your favorite tequila? Well, I love, uh, of course, Don Julio. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, 42. I love Herradura, too. Mm -hmm. I love, uh, there's a, uh, Tres Generaciones. My dad used to love that. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So I, I love a few, a few different tequilas. Yeah, man. I can drink it every day. No, you really can. Yeah, he, <laughs> he used to put it in his in coffee his every morning. morning. So now we know what to bring Every you morning. Know, uh, <laughs> when we first started working together, every morning he had coffee, uh, tequila every in his afternoon, coffee. Right? Every afternoon, yeah, I would have tequila. And then she caught on to it because I think it smelled or something yeah. like that. You were like, mm. So yeah, I gave I her some. some. Yeah, let me, yeah, let me get some. She's yeah. so like, give me some or else I'm snitching. <laughs> Drink it to the bosses. <laughs> Drink it on the job. <laughs> What about the cameras you? are what on. About, you never tried it? <laughs> no, nah, I never tried it. I'm not, I, I drink from time to time, but not, not too not too crazy. Nah, yeah. this food is like a bolsita, you know because... what I'm saying? <laughs> mm -hmm. That's the diet, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, <laughs> the dog. secret. That's the secret. The secret is out. Yeah, bolsita <laughs> Monday through Sunday. So there's a few rapid fire questions here. Hot or cold pizza? Yeah. Even though I like it cold too, I'm not gonna lie. Mm -hmm. Cold pizza is fire. I like Vibes, I like morning? pizza like put it in the oven so it gets even crispier. Mm. Nah, my G, put it in the toaster. <laughs> the toaster oh, oven. Yeah. No, 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 that's the toaster oven. Put it in the toaster. Trust no me. Ain't that cheese gonna get in the Nah, <laughs> trust me. I don't even have a right, you get yeah, away, I zombie. Yeah, dog. Yeah, you know, I've been locked up that. a few times. You know what I'm saying? Grilled cheese with an iron. That you could do that too. <laughs> yeah. You can do that too. I'm just trying to put you on to something. Okay, so cancel culture. It's a real thing. Are you worried? Um, honestly, I, do, I feel like people right should, be should be able worried. to say whatever they want. And if you don't agree, just you ignore them. But mm -hmm. people should be able to have freedom of speech. Very true. Very true. But listen, if you're hurting a certain community, a certain uh, group of people then that community should, then, then that's should right. be like, shut up yeah, and, exactly. and move you to the side. Mm -hmm. But if but, it, but at the end of the day, you should have the right to speak. I mean, we're in America, right? That's why freedom, freedom of speech. speech is one of the main things that people came here for since the beginning of this country. So as much as sometimes I hate what some people say, and I'm like, yo, what the hell? Like, I don't ever want to see this person again. You know, it's their right. Uh, they're going to have consequences. Yes. But people should be able to speak their mind. Sure. Yeah. I Keep agree. Pushing. Pineapple on pizza? Yes oh, or no? My favorite. Thank you. Thank I you, know man. everyone trashes us, but my favorite pizza Fire. is bacon, pineapple, and jalapeño. Hey, that that's it, my guys. mom's favorite, to be honest. Yeah, I like black bad. olives, mushrooms, and pineapple. Is that weird? Black, black olives, olives everyone, mushrooms, everyone's and looking pineapple. at me crazy. It's fire, good. though. It's good. good. It. Yeah, I mean, you love I love mushrooms. olives mm -hmm. and I love mushrooms, too. All day, right? All day. But what do you eat? You eat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you of eat like crazy? Yeah. <laughs> 
Um, I mean, honestly, I you love to eat healthy. Eat eat I like to eat healthy, but I eat whatever I want. I mean, I just came back from a trip to Mexico and I yeah. was eating este uh, enchiladas, <laughs> molletes, <laughs> tacos. No, yeah, I, I came back from Mexico. What'd my stomach eat? was hurting for a little bit because <laughs> it's been a while since I had like greasy food, but. But tacos. then you come back and you're, you you do like a clean like salad. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It and definitely cleaned me out. It yeah. definitely cleaned me Wait, out. Do you work out too often? Yeah. You know, I, I hadn't worked out uh, for the past couple of years because I had been on tour. And honestly, it was kind of, okay, being on tour is do, a you workout, sleep, yeah. do you sleep for one more hour or do you work out? And mm -hmm. I'll be like, I'm sleeping. But this year, um, I said starting the first Monday, I'm going to get it in. And I started like a boot camp that was 15 days of a raw vegan and boot camp every day. Raw vegan diet and boot camp every day. Mm -hmm. And that just kind of totally reset my body. And at the end of the boot camp, I was like, I have to continue working out and I mm -hmm. want to continue eating right. You know, I think that your body, we were talking about this with, with mm -hmm. Leche, that, that your body starts asking you, hey, I need to work mm -hmm. out. Hey, don't feed me all this nasty food for like mm -hmm. five days. Now yeah. I want mm -hmm. some salad and yeah, I want yeah, some yeah. fruit. Yeah. Right, right, so I think, right, right. I think it's like I said, again, balance and saying, okay, you know what? I'm going to have that pizza because I don't want to be the type of person that I deprive myself of, of yeah. everything. And then one day I look back and I'm like, oh my God, wow. just to try to be in shape. Yeah. Yeah. I lost, you know, all the good things in life. But I do want to be healthy. Mm -hmm. I And I think that, you know, once you reach your 30s, you have to start taking care of yourself more if you want to age mm. well. You know, in my family, yeah. there's a lot of diabetes and yeah, heart same, disease, same, yeah. and I don't want that to happen to me. So I'm trying to take yeah. care of, of what I eat and work out, but I also enjoy yeah. life. You know, that could be, that <laughs> could also be, yeah, yeah, it's a balance, but that could also be breaking a generational curse. I mean, you know, yeah. mm -hmm. taking care of yourself. Yeah. You know, we're not taught that, I think, as kids, as Latinos. Tu come, ponle, ponle. Sí. Maya, sí. No, no, si no te lo come. comes, te van a regañar. Yeah, that, that's one that I had, a, like, now as an adult, I have to tell myself, you don't have to finish it all. It's okay. No, yeah. Growing yes. up, growing up, it was like you couldn't leave the table until you finished it all. Yes, and it was, oh. like, disrespectful, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. Me, I love doing that. Eating, like, half of my burrito and then saving it yep. and then thinking about it. Oh, my God, in, like, two hours. Yeah. Like, my burrito <laughs> is so going to be yeah. so good. Yeah. <laughs> I got a confession. <laughs> Last night, yeah, I I have fast food. What did, okay. have? what did you but, have? But but and I bring it up because you said yo you know sometimes you got to be able to have the guilty pleasures or whatever. Yeah. So I went to Jack in the Box, mm. got ordered two tacos, small value fry, and five nuggets. I pull up to the window. The girl's like, oh, my golly, Chet, I've been following ah, your busted. weight loss journey. Oh, no. I've been it. following your weight loss journey. So what'd she say? You were like, what oh, you she shit. said, God. I just saw the video of you checking the nutritional facts. <laughs> and I'm like, yo. That's why you got to be careful how you cheat. move. Yeah. I'm, I'm here to have a cheat meal. Here's a five. But, you know, that <laughs> also, <laughs> I know, right? Yo, but that, like, also, that also inspires people as well. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, you don't necessarily have to give yourself up yeah, exactly. to live yourself. your life. Yeah. Right. You know, that just means you have to go extra harder. Extra harder. And when you do, you'll put that out there, too, because you've been you've been honest with your followers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so that made me feel a little bad. So I only ate one taco, two nuggets, and half of the value fries. That's it. not bad. And I gave the, the, the half to my friend. Oh man, I know that hurt. That took a it lot. It hurt, but I, know, took a lot. I said, "Dang!" But nah, yeah, listen, yeah, I just had a confession. I had to let it live out. Your life. It was eating me up. It was eating me up, guys. I had to be honest with you guys. You know, no, listen, when I was doing the well. boot camp, they even gave us one day of cheating. Of course, they told us, "Don't go eating a pizza, because girl, mm -hmm. then you're gonna die. Your body's gonna be like, what is going on? <laughs> Don't eat a whole pizza, but you can eat a couple slices, yeah. and you'll be good." Yeah. You know? Quick question, off subject: Is your husband's ex still in his life? Oh hell no. Oh, I thought you weren't toxic. What's that? That, was that was a toxic answer, real Let quick. me tell you what. I really do think. Let me tell you, I, and it's amazing because we spoke. Him and I spoke about it. Actually, he was the one that asked me when we started dating. Hey, do you still talk to any of your exes? I was like, No. Do you? He's like, Good. No. I think that once you have history with somebody, you know, there's a saying in Spanish, "Donde hubo fuego, cenizas quedan." I really Facts. do think it's true. The chemistry that you yeah. have with somebody. Yeah. That shit just, just doesn't go away. So why why put that in your relationship? Why kind of like risk it all and put yourself in that situation and make your partner feel a certain way mm -hmm. when you could just... Like for me, honestly, I never... Once I broke up with my exes, I was like, you're dead to me. I'm going to cry for you for two weeks. And once I stop crying, I never want to see you again. Hear from... I mean, sorry, but that's just what it is. Yeah. That's <laughs> the mala Wait, in do her, you, bro. Do you block them on everything? 
You know what? Because I do, girl. That's what Lindsay still have to say. <laughs> I honestly, I honestly <laughs> don't even know if anybody uh, that I was with in the past follows me. I just fuck kind of fuck like, them. Do you block them? You're I just another fan. Huh? Yeah. Oh, whoa. <laughs> okay, so you toxic us <laughs> all. No, I, no, I we told all you have a little bit of toxic. But I, but I admitted it since the beginning. Yeah. Right? So well, I guess I must be a little bit toxic because I, I stayed in those relationships. That's right. That's but right. But I just rather, I think it's just no. Mm-hmm. Soy mala. You That's feel right. me? Yeah, you feel right. me? So mala, I told y'all. The yeah. EP, man. Yeah. 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 Listen to it. Yo, Speaking of the EP, oh, go ahead, Les. How did the connection happen with you and Chris Perez? Oh, my God. That was like yeah, an great. insane, insane mm-hmm. story. I mean, I've always been the kind of person that says, you can't be expecting things to happen to you when you're sitting in your couch. Yeah, make And it literally, happen. I was sitting in my couch <laughs> when... I got I got a call from this publicist, um, Norma Duran. She's a big publicist in Texas, and I've worked with her in the past. And she was like, hey, uh, Chris Perez just called me, and he said they want to make music with you. And I was like, yo, girl, stop. Yeah. Because, you know, I've playing. always been so vocal about being, like, the biggest Selena fan mm-hmm. and how she's been such a big experience. And Chris me. Perez, I feel like he's very private, so... Like, I, I... I mean, honestly, I thought she was joking. Mm-hmm. I was like, no, girl, stop. She was like, no, I'm serious. They're, they want to make music again, him That's and great. Joe. Wow. And another producer Amazing. that has worked uh, with the Cumbia Kings. And they they need somebody to sing the songs. And I was like, oh, Whoa. my God, are you serious? She was like, yeah, uh, we'll do a call if you're good for today at 6 Like Los Dinos, wow. bro. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And I honestly, I mean... <laughs> They love me now. You I love them. It. Yeah, but it. honestly, I was so nervous. I literally Aww. was like, I saw the phone. I was like, <sighs> keep it cute, girl. Keep it's it cool. such an honor, right? It's such I mean, an honor. Honestly, yeah. if someone would have told me this was going to happen in my life, I mm-hmm. would have been like, stop. Yeah. Because I would have never believed it. And so basically they told me they had this one song ready and they were going to send me the link. Um, I literally was like, they were like, then you can come to Texas. I was like, when? This weekend? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and they were like, girl, calm down. Yeah. Like, let me make sure. Yeah, I yo, yeah, you like, can like, come yeah. to Texas. I'm already here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm outside. I'm in the uh-huh. airport. Yeah. Um, no, I literally <laughs> told them when. This weekend, they were like, wait, no, we have to make sure that mm-hmm. everybody's scheduled because, you know, that all of them live sure, in, different, yeah. in different places in Texas. Yeah. So they told me, they called me back uh, the next day and they were like, okay, in two weeks, two weekends, you'll mm-hmm. come. Yeah. And we're sending you the song. We'll send you the link. And it's crazy because I saw that they sent the link twice. So I thought, oh, they just made a mistake. And I just clicked on the on the last one and yeah. just heard the beat. And I was like, okay, so I guess they want me to write something. And I was working Yee. on it. And I was thinking, oh, my God, I, I hope they like it. And then on my way to Texas, I was practicing in the airport, right? Because mm-hmm. so in my mind, I'm like, yo, I got to show. Like, I got to show there up uh-huh. like, hey, you know. I know yeah, what I'm like doing. You're ready, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and... I realized there was another song, like a completed song. I was like, oh, shit. So once I go to the studio, I told them, hey, look, I, I told them what happened. And they were like, well, show us, show us what you wrote. And they were like, we love it. Scratch the other song. We're going to do wow. this song. Wow. And that song turned out to be Joe's first single ever, Joe Ojeda from Los Dinos, uh-huh. that just came out a couple of weeks ago. It's called Dueña de tu Cama. And then from oh. there, we finished that like the first day. And then they were like, well, you have three more days here, so let's mm-hmm. work on more. <laughs> Give us another and, one. Yeah. yeah, and I, it was just so much fun, you know. I, I just felt so honored, but at the same time, they were so nice to me since mm-hmm. the beginning. They Beautiful just people, felt, huh? they just embraced me, mm-hmm. and Welcome I felt in. like I knew yeah. them, you know. For, and at the same time, when I came back, uh, I was kind of like, yo, did this really happen? Like, mm-hmm. was I really just hanging out with Chris Perez and Joe Ojeda from Los Dinos? And we ended up coming up with three songs on that trip. Big time. And then I came back to L.A. And they told me that one of the songs I could take for my EP, um, which is Tenme Miedo. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And on, I had to go back to record the final vocals for Dueña de Tucam, I believe. And being there, they were like, hey, well, we are done. So let's just work on something else. And we ended up coming up with this other song that came out on my EP2 called Nuestra Tierra. Wow. Which is like an anthem for immigrants, you know, mm-hmm. because uh, the, the other guy that sings uh, in, in, in Nuestra Tierra, George, is a, an artist for, um, that was in The Voice and in La Voz in Mexico. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, we both came here from Mexico to follow like our dreams. So we mm-hmm. thought it, it'd be cool. So we ended up doing a total of four songs. Uh, two of them came out on my EP. One of them uh, came out as a single for Joe, and the other one I think is gonna come out soon too. And I hope that we can continue to make music. You know, they're amazing. I feel like sounds like you made an impact. 
So yeah. this is going to continue. Oh, I for hope sure. so. Absolutely. I hope so. They, they Did were you amazing. approve of the Netflix series, the Selena series? I watched. I watched. I'm not going to lie. Being such a fan, I watched mm-hmm. like a cycle. Uh, both like each um, season and one night. Like the whole mm-hmm. night, I was right, just right, like, yeah. you know, the first season I was kind of like, hmm. Yeah. The second season, I feel like it 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 embodied a little more of who I feel like as a fan, Selena was. Mm-hmm. Um. Hearing some of the backstories, and I mean, this is public, so they're not mm. going to be mad at me. Right. They say some of the things weren't, like, accurate. Um, mm. But didn't Suzette have a lot to do with yeah, it? Yeah, weren't they the producers? Yeah. Suzette yeah. And- but sometimes you can't override stuff. And, but, you yeah, know, a lot of people gonna... complain a lot that there's no, like, point of view of the love story from Chris's side. Ah, it's and then just on her, yeah. Joe, for well, I mean, example, it is called Selena. Yeah. You know, but at the end of the day, people want to see the love the story. Yeah. Yes, you know, people yes. people love that love, love story. Love sales, man. Mm-hmm. And, and then, for example, Joe mentioned it's, it's on some interviews that he did that he didn't like the scene where AB was playing the keyboard, saying by uh, pre- coming up with by Lista Cumbia uh-huh. because he says he was the one that came up with it, and they mm-hmm. never gave her the credit. Uh-oh. So little things like that that I'm like, well, yeah. I wasn't there, but they were there, <laughs> and there, you know, yeah. So, so believe gotta be them. True. Believe yeah. them. Absolutely. But I love Selena. So anything that has to do with her, I'll watch. And I, I'll, you know, I did like the fact that they showed more of like what they went through, the journey, and how hard it is. Because a lot of times people think, oh, it's just oh, yeah. so glamorous and beautiful, mm-hmm. and it just happens yeah. overnight. overnight. And you yeah. know, us, we know how it really is. So I, I like the fact that they show kind of more like the struggle yeah. and those little things that are behind the scenes. Yeah. No, mm-hmm. you have to put in the work. There's a lot of groundwork. You have yeah. to eat shit to make it. Yeah. For real. You know what I'm saying? You, you have to love a this. A few times. Yeah, you yeah. have to love this. Right? And enjoy yeah. it. Yeah, eat yeah. shit and enjoy it and do it with a fucking smile. Yo, yeah. Soy Mala, thank you so much for thank stopping you. by. We thank appreciate it. So Soy Mala Spotify. Make sure you, uh, check, it out. you Soy check that Mala. out. Absolutely, Soy Mala. man. Victoria uh, La Mala, we appreciate it. I know Leche went to the uh, release party. He had a great time. Yeah, he had a great time. Yeah, he, he kept saying he was going to leave and ended up being one of the last ones. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fun fact. Fun yeah. fact. Victoria, you can vouch. Who was the first person there? Leche. And you were the last person oh, there? Oh, that's love. First person there. <laughs> and every time I was about to leave, there came someone else. You know, that I hadn't seen in a long time. Mm-hmm. Ah, so yeah. The, Bro, it's I'll just catch up another yeah. hour to say bye. So, okay. So, it, it'd be another That's 20 true. minutes to catch up. And then, okay, bro, I'm about to leave. Or Adios. Else and then <laughs> someone else that I hadn't seen in a long time. Another 20, 25 minutes. Isn't okay, primo, like I'm out. Mexico, though, when Again, you go to family's boom. house. Yeah, so it took exactly me a while. how Mira it was. Prima, I've been, I've been, I haven't seen you since you were yeah. five. Yeah. Yeah. Reza was like, hey, Leche, I thought you was leaving three hours ago. No, and now you're 24 hours late to yeah. wherever you were going. It's <laughs> crazy. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank we appreciate you, it. Thank, Thank you, guys. Thank you very so much. much. You got to throw up the rock. It. Yeah. Oh. Hey, that's awesome, dude. Can't forget, you know what I'm saying? like that. Yes, sir.